Previously, in the 100 Girlfriends anime, you all know that God of Love gave Rintaro 100 soulmates and if he fails to impress even one of them, she could die. So up until now Rintaro found at least 5 waifus in his harem and all of them were unique pieces of work, and the biggest piece among them was the pervert Hikari. But other girls in the harem appreciated her and all 5 girls accepted to stay in love with Rintaro, even though 5 of them have to share Rintaro. It's as if God unintentionally made him the luckiest man in the world because all the girls in his harem cares for each other, but then Hikari abruptly asked for a breakup. Which Rintaro couldn't understand at the time, but he later discovered that Hikari was stupidly rich, and her doting mother is opposed to the relationship. So Rintaro and his harem decided to flee to a distant country with Hikari. Rintaro broke into Hikari's mansion to rescue Hikari, but she wasn't answering her phone or landline, so Rintaro brought out a ball to throw at her window to call her out. But his throw was awful but close, and in that darkness of night they lost their ball, but their Karain saw the cat was playing with their ball, she tried to take it back, but the cat was resilient. Cat was heading towards Nano and she thought to disable the cat, quick and efficient, so Rintaro uses the non-violent method and caught the cat. But a security guard heard their ruckus and came in to check so they hides behind the tree and the cat smartly gets out to take the guard's attention. They lost their ball but at least it took the guard's attention, so the only choice left is to break inside the house, and their nano guessed there must be a pet door and she was right in the money. But the size of the door was too small, so Karain asked Kusuri if she had a drug to make someone smaller, except for Karain, everyone knew it was impossible, but it was worth a try. So Nano brought out some mini rocks from the garden, and with a few tries she unlocked the door, she threw the rocks with calculated power at the right angle. But Rintaro noticed Nano was hiding her hand, so he takes her hand and saw she broke her nail to unlock the door, Nano remembers even now how Hikari stood up to save her in the water park. And that made her realize she should do the same for Hikari this time, then they finally got inside the house, but a big shadow scared the pants off of them. It's the pet dog and everyone runs out of there in time, but Rintaro noticed Suzuka got so scared that she couldn't even get up, but for some reason Nano stopped Rintaro from making any move. And for Suzuka she tried to get herself together remembering Hikari, so she thought the most logical way was to give up, that's the fate, and for some reason the dog didn't do anything. So Nano explains that dogs have this natural instinct to protect weak animals and infants, and Suzuka seriously looks like a weak little child, so Nano suggests to let Suzuka pick its eyes out. Pure violence, so Kasuri brings out a sleeping potion and gave it to Suzuka, but Kasuri didn't tell Suzuka it was a sleeping potion and she drank it, their dog licks her and even he falls asleep. Giant load of luck they got, but now comes the corridor and their cat returns, cat showed them there's alarming sensors everywhere in the way. And once again, Kitty saved the day and the Rentaro family was not apprehended, but infrared sensors are bound to fail their rescue mission, but luckily for them, Kasuri had infrared eye drops. So Rentaro gives it a try of one of her experiments again, and the only downside is that it blinds the person to everything other than infrared for the time being. But their Karain saw the envelope and then Kasuri snatched it instantly, but Nano already saw the address and it was of the foreign pharmaceutical lab. They all remembered that Kasuri wanted to be hired by this lab, it was a dream yet she gives it up. Kasuri tells everyone that she bothered Hakari with her potion and tantrum yet she remained her friend. So she wanted to do anything to help her and for that feelings Rintaro was prepared to pass through this infrared wall. But the reality is harsh when he saw the sensors and realized that even Tom Cruise couldn't pass through the sensors wall, but Rintaro thought the ceiling were too high from the sensors. It was a great way to pass through but the ceiling were too widened, and Nano used the theory brain that two people could work together to fill the gap. And the most suitable to fill the gap was Karain, they had to get tied up like this to pass from the ceiling but Nano warns them to be synchronized in every move or failure is guaranteed. They remembered her warning and started the Mission Impossible task to pass the sensors, but halfway, Karain's t-shirt got a bit up and Rintaro was touching her tummy. It was hard to endure that sensation that turns her on, but girl endured it somehow and got to the ending point. Then they found Hikari in her room crying on her family picture, but the alarm went on because they had opened the door. Her mother had even set an alarm on her door by chance if Hikari tried to run out, and now Karain and Rintaro were caught by Hikari's mother, Hahari, and Rintaro knew there was only one option left. So Rintaro asked Hahari for Hikari's hand in marriage, 
But Hahari couldn't slide off that easily, she tells them her story, she gave birth to Akari at the age of 13. Because the person she fell in love with had fallen ill and was fated to die, so she wanted a keepsake of their love, so she got the best medical care and risked childbirth at the age of 13. Ahari knew Akari is just like her, they become blind in their love and thinks it's everything in their life, and after that, her love passed away, and Hahari became a single mother. So she dedicated her life to Akari, but she never once thought that Hikari is a substitute for her love, so Hahari simply doesn't want Hikari to go through this type of regret. Because Rintaro has five girls in his life, including Hikari, so she was concerned that he wouldn't be able to make Hikari happy. Rintaro started crying hearing her backstory and her love for Hikari, which flinched Hahari's heart that Rintaro understands her hardship, but all those tears washed away the potion effect. And just as Rintaro's eyes met with Hahari, Rintaro felt the strings again and realized Hahari is the sixth soulmate, and Hahari felt the love she had forgotten and asked Rintaro out. For the love of God, even girlfriend's mother has joined Rintaro's harem, this anime is making all the bachelors jealous, and personally I would like to see this hentai situation in the next episode. But if you also want to watch the next part with me, let me know in the comments section, until then take care.